Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News episode 92. So today's episode, I want to show you a nice cool trick uh, about Windows 8. Uh, I have Windows 8 at the office and uh, I'm doing some testing on a couple of my users as virtual machines and one of the complaints is this little login thing. Uh, as you can know, if you're in a PC and you're testing Windows 8, you got to click on it and drag it up to get rid of it and log in. A lot of users were complaining about that, so I'm going to show you guys how to disable this. Now, you can actually do this in more of a group policy level, but if you're doing a testing on one machine, two machines, you could just basically do it on the a one off. So, I'm going to log in locally, and I'm going to show you guys the trick. Now, again, uh, you could do this as a group policy approach, and but I'm going to do this more. So let's desktop. This bad, like 83 more days, and I want to do is a Windows X command, okay? Because I want to go into the run, and what you want to do is you want to type in gpedit.msc. That's going to bring you the local group policy editor. That's what you want, and you want to go into the computer configuration section, administrator templates, uh, control panel, personalization. Now, the group policy that you want is do not display lock screen. You want to enable this and you want to apply it and you want to press OK. And that's it, guys. That's about it. Uh, let's test it out. I don't know if I need to do a full reboot for it to be pushed out. But let me see. I'm just going to restart my virtual machine. I don't recommend you guys doing this, but I'm just going to do it real quick. And hopefully, you know, the trick works out. Again, if, if when it's time to fully blow, you know, fully deploy Windows 8 to all your, all, everything on the floor, uh, and you don't want that that window thing that users have to click and drag it up to go into the login screen to log in you can do this in a group policy approach and just push it in one shot um, I think the whole point of that click and drag is, is it's cool for a tablet for a touch screen tablet um, for a PC no way I, I don't think it's, it's a great approach um, it'd be nice if Microsoft could actually you know squeeze that in into their Windows 8 um, and just remove it completely uh, but hey who knows uh, let's see let's see come on and there you go that's it we don't have any more it takes you straight into where you need to go uh, most likely when you guys reboot in the past you see that screen you had to bring it up and that's it Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. At the very bottom, please leave comments below. Uh, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. At the very top right there, there's a subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button to get the latest, greatest tips and reviews on software and hardware and also gaming. So I'll catch you guys later. Thank you.